Again, sorry if I sound a little bit stuffed up. I'm still, I've just now gotten over it, so. You're good, you're good. We're ready, we're in our, our music zone here. This oh, don't forget my nickname. All right, kids, I got you, kids. It just feels weird. You haven't been here for, what, two, three weeks? It just feels so weird. Yeah, it's been a minute. Um, so how much do you remember? Do you remember the chord shapes? Yeah, I think so. Um, the E minor chord, that was the first one we learned. Yeah, I remember those... Excuse me, I remember those two chords, but I, I still am trouble. I'm still having trouble with the new one. C chord, which I, I think I got a good alternative here. We can slowly ease our ways into it, but let's just really quick go over the E chord. If you don't mind, yeah, we could fret it on the net and then play it through. Let's see if we get all the notes right. Wait, wait. Let's do this one. All the notes individually. So, uh, did you already tune it? Yeah. yeah okay. Right. I was like, wait, what happened to tuning it? Okay, I swear, something always sounds out of tune when I do that. Well, so right now, you didn't have the chord on, so it's just open right now. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, then you remember the hands. Yeah, the... this isn't going to be embarrassing, sounding stuffed up on a video. Okay. All right, so let's try the E chord now. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. But what was worse was that I was, I was planning to make a YouTube video, uh about my, what was it, my updated Scooby-Doo DVD collection or something like that. Because it is Scoob-tober and Scoob-vimber still. And uh, I that was when I had the cough. And I the minute I got the cough, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And so I just made it silently. <laughs> so I hate doing that in a video, explaining why I'm silent. But... It's all right. All right, kid, we got to focus now. Let's, let's try this chord. Just one note by, by itself. Hold, hold on. I'm too close to my camera. <laughs> So I was too close, sorry. Holding it down, right? But if I can... Excuse me. Sorry, I have to clear my throat sometimes. If I can sing, that means I'm getting over it, right? Definitely. All right, so try playing the notes right after me. You ready? Wait, which chord is... That, hey, you got the E chord. That looks good. So, uh, so that first E note, that's right. I might have to ask questions a lot, because I don't remember a that's lot okay. of stuff. Because you haven't been here in two weeks. We'll so. shake the rust off. We'll get it going. So that first note, that... Try oh, this one? Yeah. Ow! What did I just do there? Did I just do that too hard? too hard, yeah. Ow! Alright. Right, the next note. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, hold down a little harder. I'm bringing this up because it's music themed. Remember how I said I've been writing songs, but they're all just lyrics right now? Yeah. That sucks because in, I think it's the chapter I'm working on now, actually, which is a pretty emotional chapter, of a book I'm writing, uh, not my character, but her best friend sings one that I wrote, so, but it's only lyrics right now, so I'd have to literally go and find playing acoustic guitar on YouTube. So. Alright, well, you did kind of start talking in the middle of it, but you hit all the notes, it was all good, so. Remember, just try to focus, just try that. If I still had that cold, I wouldn't be talking at all. <laughs> all right, so the E chord sounded good, so give it a good strum, just... Ouch. Hold on, I did that wrong. There we go, nice. There we go. Now that A minor chord, remember that one? The next chord? Uh, kinda. So, there you go. Boom. I'm still having trouble with that new chord. I still can't get it right. Well, let's just let's get this one down. So remember, on this one, don't hit that first note, right? We're going to skip that string. And we're going to start with that one. Yep. What the? That sounds good. No, I, I heard a buzzing sound. I heard a buzzing sound. Try it again. Okay. Yeah, see, I hear it. I don't know where it's coming from. All right, so try Ouch. it on that same chord. Let's try the second note now. So we have that open A. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And then the next one. Ow! This, this, this string's like rubbing up on my uh, fingers, and it's actually kind of like cutting it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Not like making me bleed or anything, but it just it's it's rubbing up on my huh. Maybe just maybe not being able to play a whole bunch lately. Your hands are a little delicate. Yeah, it's it it wasn't because I didn't want to. I just I who wants to do it when they're sick? <laughs> no, it's all good. 
Uh, so yeah, let's get through the. Corners. I was I was terrified when I when uh, I heard that you were coming today. I was like, he's gonna be so mad that I didn't practice for a week. Yeah, it happens. It's part of it. When you well, catch that's a, what we're doing now. Now we gotta focus and hone <clears> in. When you catch a cold, you don't want to do anything. So. All right, so let's go through the notes one more time, all the way through the. So one by one, start with that A note right there. Yep. I actually didn't tell you. I think it was yesterday. I was listening to music, and anytime one of my favorite like country songs came on, I would try to play along to it while singing to it, and it sounded horrible. Um, All right, kid, I could it. not. I couldn't figure out what chord they were using. So we gotta get through this chord now. Come on, let's try to stay focused. One by one. See that one's a little buzzy. Yeah. Why is this one always so buzzy? I can never understand that. And that's gonna be on your left hand. Trying to hold it down a little bit harder. There Ouch! You know. If I do, it rubs up on me. That sounded good. That was that was clear. Ow! If I if I do, it like cuts me a little bit. I've actually heard that you can actually cut yourself on on a on a string. It could happen. It would take a lot, but it definitely could happen. Brett, move, boy. Sorry, he's like pushing. He's like pushing me from behind. It's all right. So all right, a a minor chord one more time here from the start. Oh, I have it wrong. <laughs> one note at a time. Oh wait, I don't use this. Yeah, don't use that one. Brett, stop it. Sorry, he he's already made my back kill me today because he sleeps underneath me and he won't stop. There we go. He won't stop kicking me. All right, I give that one a good strum. Ow. Okay, I really need to stop hurting myself. Right. I actually kind of wanted to practice on my electric one today because I that's the one I've been practic practicing on. So we got the two chords. You remember them. You can get them down. We just gotta focus, try to play through them. So if you remember the pattern that we did where we count four. Yeah, honestly, I cannot. I'll be honest with you. I'm having trouble remembering pretty much everything that we you got it. You played them. that we learned last time because it's been two weeks. So right. you got it. Yeah. And I told you my memory is horrible. So. All right. So let's try switching between the two now. The new chord I'm still having trouble with. I can't get that one right. Don't worry about that one. We'll get to that one here in a little bit. But for now, let's try to get back the rhythm of, of counting the four. Because I, I want to get to where I can either either do, start doing song covers or turn my songs into actual songs or both. Well, to do that, we got to know how to play some chords. So we're working on it. We're getting there. <sighs> yeah, but that chord is so difficult. <laughs> All right, so let's try the E chord again. So... Play, I'm gonna count four and start. If you can, play play along with me. Strum with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Wait, which do I just strum it? Yeah. It'll be okay. On, on the one. So. Only strum it once and then. Count. Oh well, I messed up. That's why I strummed it again. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll start. Three, four. I did, oops, I did that ahead of you. Yeah, let's try, let's try, start on the E chord then. Oh, okay. You, yeah. Well, you didn't tell me, so. Ah. All right, E, ready? One, two, three, four. Ouch. Two, three, four. On this chord? Yeah. Let's yeah, just, three, four. Two, what the? Three, four. Two, there we go. Now A. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna test it. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'm getting there. Mm. I don't sound like I still have a cold, do I? Four. Or I just sound like I'm getting over it. Yeah. Four. Two. Three. Four. Two. Three. Four. Why am I only hearing one or two strings? Yeah, you gotta kind of try to start from the top. Can I just do it like this? I can't. Yeah. Because if I if I strum it like this, ow! If I, I either hurt myself. Yeah, that's what you'll, you'll do like when you're doing a little bit faster. Stuff. Yeah, like trying to do a guitar solo or something like that. All right, so now I'm gonna let you play it by yourself. And oh we'll, God. We'll okay. Out. I'm gonna okay. speed up the tempo a little bit. Don't speed it up too fast, because if you do, then I screw up. So right. I'm trying to fix my guitar case. Give me a second. My guitar case is like broken or something. See how uh, uneven it is. 
It's an old case. <laughs> Alright, so start with the E chord. Why does my guitar look different to you? It's still the same one. Yeah, I don't know. Probably because I haven't been here in two weeks. That's probably why. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and then, so move it up. There you go. Alright, so on one, you just do that one, count four, and then on, so on every one is when you, you do the chords. Like you were singing. Well, I was trying to keep it in time. But... It sounded like you were singing. It did. I didn't even strum it. It's all right. Yeah, all right. Kid, that was, that was weird. I was like, what the heck? So you can do it on your own now. You got that. So I, I know you don't like the counting and the tapping. But... Yeah. Well, I don't mind the tapping, but actually, I don't even want to do tapping anymore because I'll be honest with you, I do that all the time when I'm jamming to music. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if it bothers her in here or whatever, but I was doing it yesterday to, I don't remember what song, but she, my aunt came in my room and was like, stop, stop. I was like, what do you want me to do? I'm always doing that while jamming to music. And apparently, musicians tap their feet, they so do. why can I not do it? So, I literally have to do it with my foot in the air. No. Alright, so here's the new chord. I'm still having trouble with that so, chord. Well, here's the thing. We're going to change it up just a little bit. So, it's still going to be a C chord, but, and this is a little bit of theory. You don't really know all this, but it's going to be a C7. So, now... Uh, basically, we're just going to make it easier. Okay. And it also gives it like a more... Kind of like a jazzy sound. Right? My my brightness is down, but that's okay. I can just turn it up when we're done with it. All right. So with your third finger, we're gonna hold this note down. The, uh, which one? This there one. There you go. Yep. Now your second finger would be right there, and that's it. Oh, okay. So. So those two, and normally the C would be this index up here, but right now. Yeah, I I cannot figure that out. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one off for now. Because I remember you telling me to build the chord last time, and I just could not figure it out. I was like, what? Yeah, so we're going to leave that note off, but here's the thing. Like the A minor chord, don't hit this lower note. Don't hit this one? Yeah. So it'll just be from the C on down. Sounds so, amazing. Let's when... try Let's try note by note going down and see what it sounds like. Nice. <sighs> okay, why am I hearing a buzzing sound? Am I pulling it too hard or something? A little bit twangy, but that's alright. <laughs> that's it. So C7, a lot easier, and then the C chord with that index finger. But so for now, let's try. Now let's add that chord to the pattern. So you know we go to E. A. Oh, okay. Wait. So am I doing? So am I doing all three at the same time? No. So what we'll try to do is we'll do each chord two times. So it'll be one, okay. two, three, four, one, two, three, four, now A, two, three, four. I'm... Sorry, I was just kind of trying to that's play okay. it for you. Um, that's okay. Uh, so that's kind of what it'll sound like, but we can take it a little bit slower. <laughs> so we'll start with the E, we'll go to the A, and then we'll go to that new C7. Try that chord one more time. Do you remember? It'll be third finger on the third fret. There you go. And then second finger right above it, second fret. Right where? Right. Uh, or sorry, right behind it. Where? Right. 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 Yep. Here. See, my fingers don't want to stay. That's annoying. <laughs> try holding that and then try giving that a good strum. It sounds different than yours. I don't know why. Yeah, try doing a little bit slower. Try to do the thumb technique. I'm not hearing one string. Try that first one again. Yeah, we gotta hold it down a little bit harder. Ow! If I do that, it cuts my. It doesn't cut my finger, but it doesn't like actually cut my finger. But you know what I mean. Yeah, whenever you get that little buzzy twenty sound, it's usually just the fingers gotta be adjusted. Yeah, but that hurts if you uh, do it like that. 
try one more time. Uh, which one was it? Is it? Oh, you had it right. Yep. This one, mm -hmm. and then. And boom. Yep. Ah, and so you there. could even to make it a little bit easier. You can squeeze this finger, kind of back this way a little bit. There you go. So now. Oh, there we go. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. That's far apart. Yeah. There we go. The other reason I didn't like that chord was because it, it. I don't know if it's supposed to do it, but it always makes my like my right hand stretch out, and it hurts yeah. after I do that chord. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What the? There we go. There it, is. it was because I had my finger up here. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again. Buzz. I can hear buzzing. Yeah, maybe try to hold down a little bit tighter. Ow, that's as tight as I can go. Otherwise, it like cuts into my finger. Yeah, because that buzzy, that buzzy sound right, is going to come over here. Get over here. when the fingers aren't as tight. Oh, wrong way. There you go. <laughs> Had it the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So whenever you hear that, try to feel like, okay, how does that feel? Because that's... Well, that that's hurts, to be honest, but... It takes some... <laughs> take, it, take some, uh, it takes some getting used to. Up there, yeah. It takes some getting used to. Yeah, there you go. Sounds good. But that string is really annoying though because it like it it cuts through my finger. So just try that note one more time and then right after it because you know you're getting a little bit try that second note. I sound like I'm getting what? I couldn't hear you over her. Uh, it sounds like you're getting it down a little bit tighter. Okay. So that's good. He's on the couch. She asked where my dog was, sorry. Uh, Alright, so you gotta remember that third finger is gonna go up one. Oh, uh oh I have it wrong. Yeah, there you go. Oops. Little switcheroo. Nice. I'll try the next note. Alright. These are always going to sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> the open strings. Alright, so. This is yeah. so embarrassing. Sounding stuffed up on a video. That is so embarrassing. You're trying to control here. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but that's embarrassing. <laughs> What's weird is I never sound stuffed up when I'm singing. But. <laughs> That means I'm getting over it. Right, so how's that feel? You got that chord down? Like the, yeah, and it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, so. Nice. so now let's try to go to the A minor chord again. The chord on before this one. Uh, that's all the way down here, yeah. I think. Like like this. Yep. Remember, I, we haven't done it in two weeks, so I don't. No, you're good. <laughs> I, need, I need a refresher. You know that you got the chords down. So without even strumming it, just hold that chord. And then go to the C, the new C chord. Uh, where's that at? I keep forgetting where that's at. It's... And so, cool thing, really quick, go back to the A minor. Yep, so that's it. So this finger doesn't even have to move. Oh! So that one, you're just gonna move that one down. Wait. Move this one here. And that's the chord, yeah. That's the oh, it's like, okay, well my finger slides a little bit. It's gonna slide a little bit, but you don't have to lift it up at all. So just try to remember that. Basically, that chord's already... It's already halfway built. Yeah, halfway <laughs> built. Wow. So it's let's try the A minor chord and see if you can... It's up to you, whatever feels comfortable. I was seeing what, what time we were at. Oh, uh, whatever feels comfortable. I'm going to try to suggest, like, kind of using your finger like a pick. So you okay, well, I, I can't pick. I don't know how. Yeah, you, know, you so. would hold one, right? So you kind of yeah. like that. So just kind of go... A little bit slower, just like one note at a time. There we go. I, that's, as be, that's the best I if can do. It feels do. better with the thumb. It feels better like doing this. Yeah. Um, really, what we're trying to do is trying to slow the strum down so you can hear every note. Okay, I hear it. On yours, I hear it. On mine, I don't. So you gotta go super slow. <laughs> that's the pain about it is that you want to speed up. You don't want to go so slow. So let's try going like that, super slow motion with the A minor chord. There you go. There we go. It is nice. And now go to that new C chord. C7. Yeah, there you go. And then try the same thing. That was really loud, though. That was a 
good one, and that's... That kind of sounded like it was out of tune for a second. Yeah, it's a seven chord, so it's going to sound a little... Weird. A little weird, but that weirdness gives it that nice. It just, it sounded like it was off key. I was like, what? So now, yeah, now the goal is to go from that A minor to that C chord. Okay. <laughs> so don't worry about the first chord, right? Yeah, right now, let's just worry about that A minor to C. Man, I really hope I'm not sounding stuffed up soon. I can't take it anymore. So let's try that same pattern that we did before where we play, we're going to play the A minor twice and then go to the C7 twice. Okay. And then we're counting four in between the two, right? So. Whoa, almost dropped my guitar. Careful. I was trying to close this thing and I almost dropped my guitar. That would have been a nightmare, right? <laughs> I don't think you could, I don't think it would break if I dropped it, but yeah, been all right. it would have just scared me. Right, so you ready? I'm going to count three, four, then we'll start. Three. Do I just strum it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoops. There we go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oh, I keep forgetting. There it is. <laughs> Oh man, dang it! Oh, see what I see what I did? Yeah, it was a little bit behind. Oops. But not too bad. That first one you nailed. Yeah. And then also on the strum, try to really you try to slow it down a little bit. Like I said, try to make sure that your right hand's leaning a little bit more into it. That way. You know. I'm just gonna do it like yeah, this. Like this. Perfect. I'll just do it like that. <laughs> Hopefully it sounds like my voice is going back to normal. Yeah. It does. Alright, so let's start that A minor chord again. Okay. Same same pattern. Three, four, one. Two, Oops. Four. Two, I did it too I did it too late. Oops. It's alright. Oh, wrong way. See, why do I keep wanting to do that? I keep wanting to put it the wrong way. <laughs> I think it's because that chord is a little bit uh scary at first, but Let's go. Let's start with the A minor. Then. Oh, okay. ow! I just whacked myself with my guitar. And then let's do the classic slow mo. I actually didn't tell you the last time I practiced. It was actually like I don't know, 10 p.m. maybe. So I actually put my. It was. I didn't hear anything because I put my blanket over it so I wouldn't wake anybody up. So I was strumming it and I was like, I don't even know if it's good because I can't hear it. My old teacher taught me to do that. Put the blanket over it. Yeah. So you don't wake anyone up. Strange. All right, so A minor, and then again, let's try the the thumb, the thumb strum. Ouch. Oh, man, that hurts my fingers. I don't know if it's because I haven't practiced for like two weeks. It probably but... plays a little bit of a role. Just, you know, fingers getting back in the groove. Yeah. If you haven't practiced for a while, you're like, wait, what am I supposed to do again? And it hurts if you do it again, so... It's not, it's not that I'm not getting good at it, it's just I haven't practiced in a while, so. <laughs> Thanks to an annoying cold. And you, you should have seen my, <laughs> yeah, she did that exact same thing every time I brought it up. She's like, okay, I get it. Because <laughs> you have to E, the A is down pretty good. The, the yeah, those, minor, those two are easy. So. The C, and then, right now, like I said, we're really trying to do the slow motion on that way we can hear everything. Uh, I have it backwards. <laughs> But yeah, start from the A. Oh, okay. Why do I keep... I, I don't know why I keep wanting to go to the new chord automatically. I'm trying to get the new chord right, so that's probably why. Alright, mm -hmm. so we'll do... One, two, three, four. But yeah, try the, <sighs> the thumb strum. Oops. I, I'm used to strumming like this. Yeah. So. There you go. Wait, where am I... Okay. There we go. It's still making a buzzing sound, but yeah, it's just positioning the finger on, on top of it. Somebody told me I don't know if this is true, but somebody said if you press down too hard, it either breaks the string or it sounds awful. It's all about the positioning. 
I don't know what she just said. Yeah, we want to do the slow, the slow motion round because we want to hear all those. Except for this one. Yeah, don't hit that one. Yep. <laughs> Okay, something sounds out of tune. You hear it? I don't know what it is. It's one of the fretted notes. Try to slow it down and see. There it is. There we go. That was the problem. I had two that were uh, acting up, so. <laughs> Okay, um, I keep forgetting where that's at. That's all the way up here. Right? I'm trying to remember that your second, on the, when you hold the A minor chord, the second finger doesn't really have to move. It just, well, it slides, but... It slides it a little bit, but try not to lift it up, because it's going to... It's already on the string. Right? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad. Wait. Why? What is it with that string? It always sounds out of tune. It's just uh, you gotta hold it down a little bit tighter. I know it feels weird. But... It, it doesn't feel weird. It just hurts because it's like rubbing up on me. <laughs> So the two the two strum pattern, let's try that going from the A minor to the C. Okay, so do I just do this chord twice and then do the next one twice? Yep. And I'll let you do it solo. So I'll catch you. Especially since I'm apparently doing a guitar not solo, but playing guitar for my family That's down there. Cool. And I really do not want to, but so there are seven chords down, they're gonna be like, What? <laughs> well, I really don't want to because I'm scared to. But... Okay. So it's on the A minor chord, I'll count three, four, and then you'll start on the one. So three, four, two, three, four, two. Can I go to the next chord? Yep. Ah, dang it. Okay, seriously, why do I always want to. Boom, right there. That one. There we go. I have it wrong. Do I? Do no, I have it wrong? No, I, I don't. Okay. It looked like I had it wrong for a second. Three, four. Oh my god. I, the problem is I'm not trying to lift that finger up, but for whatever reason it, it just keeps yeah, yeah, I mean it's just instinct here. Your hand's just gonna wanna move. But the more you think about it, the more you practice it, the finger will start. Yeah. Still. I don't, at least now I can practice. So. Not bad. It's not too bad. So yeah, definitely practice this. Practice switching, adding that chord into the, the pattern. Oh, that's easy. As long as, well, since I'm recording it, and as long as I don't, uh, as I can remember that it's only these two that I'm yeah. using instead of that really difficult chord I kept trying to practice. I don't know why I can't get that chord right. It can, it's kind of stretching your hand a little bit. Maybe your hand's not used to it, but I think the more that you play the C7 chord, yeah. the more your hand will get comfortable. C7 sounds very, looks really, like, looks way easier than the original C chord. C, regular C. Yeah. That chord is so difficult. All right, now let's go back to the beginning. Let's try the E minor to the A minor to the C. <laughs> e, A, C. And then same thing. There's two, two chords and then on to the next one. So, can I strum every string? Just make sure. But see, on that chord, everything always sounds great. It's a lot of open strings. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're only holding, what, these two down? Two. And then I don't, don't use it. When the heck am I going to use this one? So for the E minor chord, you do use this. I do? Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. And then so with the A, if we don't use it, and then with the C, we also don't, don't use, use it. it. <laughs> I guarantee there's like one or two chords where you just have to do it. You know what uh, songs, you know like, uh, there's gonna be some songs I can't cover because I don't know what it's called. You know that thing like they put over their guitar like oh, up yeah, here? Capo. Yeah, is yeah. that what that's called? Yeah. I don't know what where you could even get one or how to use it. Pretty so. fun, yeah they're cool. But you, need, you might need it for like a specific song and I don't have one. So. 
right, so let's start with E minor. I'll let you play solo, and I'll count it. And move it up to, yeah, it's more like an A. Go, try to move it up two strings to E. There you go. Well, you said A, so. All right, so I'll count three, four, and then you start on the one. Ready? Okay. Wow, 30 minutes already? Three, four. How the heck are we at 30 minutes? You just got here. <laughs> Start it over. Alright, so three, four, two, three, four. Oh, my thumb slipped for a second on the first one. Uh, let's try it again. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Three, four, two, three, four. There we go. Now it's fine. For the A. I swear it sounds like you're rapping or something. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I do that chord, it always sounds weird. That's not good. Alright, let's start it over. Let's start with E. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oh, whoops. Don't use that string. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Do I use the new one? I have to keep remembering not to move this one. Just slide it. Okay, actually, it's, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. That chord's gonna be a little bit difficult, but. Two, three, four. And then from that one, we'll go back to the E. That was like the easiest one. That chord is so easy. The E? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's like really easy. It's the easiest chord. It's two, two notes. And you don't you don't have to hold down you don't have to like move your fingers around in a weird uh, way. So, ugh. All right, let's try that one more time. Man, I hate sounding stuffed up. Is there remember on the E minor? All of them. Oh, all of them. I keep forgetting. Sorry. My fault. I strummed uh, the first string. It's all good. If you notice, when I make a mistake, I just say, "Whoops!" I'm not trying to like yell "dang it" or anything, like I do when I get frustrated. That's all good. It happens. Oh, I'm not trying to get frustrated when I make a mistake. All right, let's try those. There we go. Three, four. Something does, yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, why? It's always that string. It's always this one. Yeah. I'm starting to think something's wrong with that string because it always sounds like that. Just gotta practice holding it down a little bit tighter. Like on my electric guitar, it always sounds fine. But... That's right. Brett, don't jump off the couch, please. Sounds fine now, I guess. <laughs> no, sounds fine now. All right, take from the top. Okay, three. Same thing. Uh, you might there you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Three, four. Do I go back to this one? Oh yeah, it's still oh, in the oh, E minor chord, oh, okay. but whenever you strum it, start with the... Oh, I left that one out the second time. Yeah. Okay. Is it, it sounds the same. Four. It's going to sound pretty similar, but that E, because it is an E chord, is kind of... Ouch. I think that string literally just cut me. That, it felt like it did. 
I go back to the new one, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And we have one more on the A minor chord, but... Oh, oops. <laughs> Wait, why does it sound like the E chord? Shout again? Did you hear it? It sounded like the E chord. It's got similar I... notes, but... I have it wrong, that's why. Chord. Have it wrong, I think. Yeah, it's good. Try it, slow it. Slow it down. Get that first note. <laughs> uh, next one down. No, no, it's fine. It's, just, it's weird. When I strum it, it sounds like the E chord. It's such a pretty chord. I love this chord. <laughs> Why? It sounds nice. It does. It does sound nice. <laughs> See, that's what I want to be able to do. Not just when um, I go down there, but also like when I'm making music. Let's try it. It's, uh, you don't have to play it this fast, but <laughs> just try to hit the chords as I'm hitting them. How the heck are we almost at 40 minutes already? Time flies, the music's. So you get that A chord, right? Uh, there you go. So try to just. Notice I have to go to the bathroom, but I'm waiting till this lesson's over so I don't miss anything. Now, when you strum up, how do you feel with the up strum? I can't. Yeah, let's say with your index finger, try to isolate it. It's good to strum with all your fingers, but for right now, try to really use your index. I can't strum up for some reason. I don't know why. See, it sounds really weird when I strum up. Try it super slow. feel too weird try to leave like with your index so wait, you're still wait, gonna have like uh, your whole hand but try to really uh try to isolate like your index from the rest of them kind of almost if you were like looking oh okay so like so ow, like, like this well my finger you don't have to like, yeah try not to hold it like your thumb you can move it off the guitar That feels super weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a, just like a flick. Like... Oh, there we go. I was doing it wrong. It's like... Isn't that what you told me that one day when I couldn't even use my index finger? Maybe. You remember that? I couldn't yeah, even yeah. use it that day. And then when you come up, just kind of... Kind of with that same index finger, just kind of rake it. Strumming is always kind of like specific to players, so it, make it your own, whatever okay. feels comfortable. I'm, I usually do, do it like this. Let's see, let me want to do it a little bit faster. Especially if I'm doing a guitar solo. Which a lot of my songs have the word guitar solo in it. And my character in the book plays guitar, so I want to get, I want to be able to do her like music parts. Not just her singing parts. For playing guitar parts. Nice. We'll get there. Well, let's try really slowly going from the A minor to the C chord. But now instead of counting one, two, three, four, let's try to pick it up a little bit. So we'll do one, two, three, four. So you want to do it four times instead of two? Yeah. Okay. I don't really have to go to the bathroom when I'm waiting until we're done. Can I do that again? I messed up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the new one, right? Yep. Wait. No, it's fine. I heard a buzzing sound at, at one point. If you, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. If, if you strum it a little bit, like, fast, I can hear, like, kind of like a beat going on. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know. I don't know what you mean exactly. Oh, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, because I don't know what, what you would say, like, what you would call it, but... Yeah. But it's you like, hear it. You feel it? Yeah, when, it, when I strum it, I can sometimes feel, like, a beat going on. I mean, yeah, maybe 
it's just like the natural, I think like our brains are naturally tuned into the rhythm. Yeah, you hear it? I can, yeah. yeah. Strum that one. <laughs> so six and eight. There you go. Yeah. I just realized I'm I'm doing I'm doing uh, the chords A C like air conditioner like, <laughs> like A C. I could just remember yeah, that A C <laughs> instead of E A C A C. <laughs> e A C is actually a real place. I didn't even know that. So let's take it from the top. Let's try to get a good clean four. I'm just making sure all my strings are working. I'll let you do this in solo. <laughs> so, wait, am I doing it? I'm confused. Am I doing it twice or four times? Now that we're doing it four times. Maybe. Four times? Oh, I really need to be. Uh, why? It sounded a little off there. It did, yeah. I don't know what it was. Oh! I was hitting that string. That's it. That string is a nightmare, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's a weird one. It'll put off the whole chord. You hear it? I can hear the beat. Do you hear it? Like, I heard a, a beat that time. I can hear it, yeah. yep. It's the rhythm. I don't know if that means I'm getting better at it or... <clears throat> um, you can feel it. Because... Even when I did my electric guitar, it sounded really weird at first, but, and actually I had a problem with it when I tried to plug, like when I tried to practice it, because I plugged it in and I don't know why, but I couldn't hear anything. And I was like, wait, why is my guitar not working? Mm -hmm. Turns out I plugged it in in the wrong place. <laughs> Classic. It was a, that was a nightmare. I was like, what the heck? All right, let's start from the A minor again. And if you need to take them a little bit slower, Take it slower if you need to. <laughs> okay. I really need to keep it, but I'm waiting till we're done. When it gets tricky is when you go to that C, right? Yeah, that, that C chord is, excuse me, that C chord is really tricky. So, I mean, C7 is actually way easier than normal C. Oh, yeah. So. So, let's start it here. Go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Just keep doing that, right? Yep. I'm just really trying to get them clean. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I cannot. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. See, that was smooth. When you went from the C to that A, your, this finger didn't move at all. So that was perfect. Uh huh? That was good. This finger, because this finger is holding that note down through both boards. So it's important to try not to move it. So I know from going to the A to the C, it moves, but from the C to the A, you didn't move it. So yeah, it was... well, that's like really easy. I just have trouble with the C chord because my fingers keep wanting to move over. So try that, it's kind of like instinct to want to move it, but when you're going from that A to the C, you just try to hold it down. Okay. I can hear it. I can hear it like a beat going on. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? Dang it! See, I always mess up. <laughs> there you go. What sucks is, <coughs> excuse me. What sucks? Sorry, I have a little bit of a cough still. Uh, what What sucks is uh, some of the songs I want to cover aren't even on guitar. So. You can transpose them. Uh huh. You can kind of like learn the notes and then play them on guitar. True. Like that song I told you I was I uh, tested my singing out with. Um, after my cold went away, which was untitled. That song is on piano, so I don't even know how to play piano. <laughs> no, that one's fine. All right, so I want you to practice moving from that A minor to that C chord. You know, I can kind of feel that. You can feel the beat? Yeah, I can hear a beat when I do it, yeah. So now we want that beat to stay whenever we're switching chords. That okay. way, like, it's continuous. You hear it? I, yeah, I can hear it, so. Yeah, I can 
hear it, yeah. Maybe I could just do a song with those two. I don't know. The chords. Don't you know the chords? He's pretty much playing it here. Yeah. Nice. That sounded like electric guitar right there. <laughs> that, like, slide. Yeah. I actually cannot do that. How do you even do that? Slide down. Just slide down. And so practice those two, but also kind of try to throw in that E minor chord too. Okay, so when do I do that one? So if you remember, we start with the E and then go to the A. Okay. And then from the A, you can go to the C. So. C7, C7 chord is so easy. C7. So. I really need to pee, but I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> I could probably do a song with those three i just cool. the only problem is that i don't i don't know how to describe it it's like i know how to do like the lyrics and stuff for it but when i'm like playing music for it i don't know when i would when i would start singing Never feels. and also like how long the intro would be and also uh how i could match my singing with the music so. yeah just gotta play around with it so you get on the practice, you know it's practice? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. It does. Yeah, now that you get that rhythm going, man. Like it's kind of like my singing voice. I started out singing horribly, but I've been working on it for years. And so it takes practice. And then see the next time, see where the C7, the C chord is just one index finger away. It's right there. Wait, okay, so can I test that out real quick? Yeah, it's yeah. the. Um, so it's up here, right? Yep. And then down here. Mm -hmm. And then where does this one go? That one's gonna go right here on this first, there you go. Right here? Yep. See what, see, this is what's annoying. It's see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But see, like now that you're doing that C7, and you seem to be doing it pretty good. Yeah. Your hands don't get used to it's it. It's really easy, actually. And then your hands just go, oh yeah, you can do that. Okay. Because so. every time I tried that chord, I just could not get it right. It's a little bit of a stretch. It was annoying. I was just like, whatever. I'm never gonna get that chord right. Uh, we're at, wow, 47 minutes. Oh, so you got some time? Yeah, but... I really need to run to the bathroom, but... Hey, you want to go to the bathroom? Go for it. Yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. What? I gotta, I gotta go to I just don't like cold at all. You rain, so, but... like, I was prepared Sunday for it to drop, but then it was windy and raining Monday, and it was miserable for me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then yesterday wasn't too awful. It was pretty bad at night, though, and then I sat out there sick, trying to pass out candy, which is not <laughs> my situation any. Uh, no. Um, and they hit trick or treating. I should have just stayed in the house and turned the lights off. Lay low. Roller coasting. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, I know transportation is not easy to come by, so I want to throw this at you. I'm willing to do. The trans, like if you don't, you know, I want to do that. I might have to do 50. I can cut you that deal if you want to work with you, it'll be a little easier. This work is like super slow. Yeah. yeah. So it falls a lot on me, but not probably. Yeah. I'll be finished dinner and then I'll catch up here. Yeah, I'm super cool, so I was like, I'll try that to see you. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about I'm that. I'm gonna get all that done. Keep practicing. Now she's not sick. She it's getting there. I'm telling you, when we yeah. really focus and get in there, you get That's it. why I turn everything off and leave for you a while. Really? Because you were in the kitchen the whole time. Yeah, but I gotta cook. You people want to eat. <laughs> I just hope soon I don't sound stuffed up anymore. That's just Texas for you. Welcome to Texas and all of this. <laughs> and now it's getting colder outside. So now. Yeah, we're right. I'm gonna run by the end of the week. It's supposed to be in 80. <laughs> yeah, and then it'll go back to 40 again. <laughs> yeah, we live in Texas, what do you expect? Uh, 
Don't call me at all. All right, Lauren. Good stuff. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. That chord's really easy. I can, I can only do that.